Hello Andy, myself I am Shekhar. Today I am going to explain the topic is flag resistor of 8086. Let's see the flag resistor diagram. So this is the flag resistor diagram. So the size of a flag resistor is 16 bit. So flag resistor stores the status of ALU operations. Simply we can say that it stores the ALU operation status. So flag resistor is a resistor which stores the status of ALU operation. Generally what is a resistor? <coughs> a register is nothing but simply it stores the information. So registers uh, main function is to store the information. Here what type of information is going to be stored? So here the flag register stores the status of ALU. The information is status of ALU operations. So total it consists of 16 flags that is 16 flag bits. So these 16 flag bits are divided into two types. Status flags and machine control flags. <coughs> the lower byte of the flag register is status flags that is 0 to 7 and the higher byte of the flag register is a machine control flags. So let us see first one. Status flags. The first one is carry flag. So when carry flag is going to be set? So this carry flag is going to be set when there is a carry out of MSP bit. For example, if you are performing any addition or subtraction, when there is a carry from D7th bit. For example, just make an example if you are adding two numbers. Just write A3 and next below it 7, 5. Just we are adding these two numbers. A3 7 5 okay now uh, add A3 7 5 so first you are adding 3 5 you are getting answer 8 next one A7 that is nothing but hexadecimal number 11 you write one next one carries there so like the situations when there is a carry from MSC bit so in that situations carry flag is going to be set the same concept repeats for this auxiliary carry so let us take a same example uh, a, a7 next uh, uh, 2 2 7 same concept a7 and below 27 so first we have to add a and 7 so what you're getting exactly number same 11 1 with carry 1 so 2 a 12 plus 1 13 13 means b c c 1 so you are getting carry from d third bit so then auxiliary carry is going to be set if there is a carry from the lowest symbol, if there is a carry from lowest symbol, so in that situation, auxiliary carry flag is going to be set. So this is the concept of auxiliary carry. Next, when parity flag is going to be set, simple only, it's simple. So parity flag is going to be set if the lower byte of the result contains even number of ones. If the lower byte of the result contains even number of ones, that means we got result uh, in AX 25 25 so answer is 25 25 that means lower byte means 25 so write binary number for 25 first 2 0 0 1 0 next 5 0 1 0 1 so how many ones you are getting here 2 plus 1 3 so in this answer odd number of ones so then parity flag is not going to be set for example uh, let us take another number 3 5 then you get 2 plus 2 4 then that is when even number of ones parity flag is going to be set so this is the concept of auxiliary carry flag sorry parity flag next zero flag simple so this flag is going to be set 
the computation a comparison performed by the previous instruction is zero simply if you are performing some comparison operation if both operands are equal so compare ax comma bx the content of ax and the content of bx both are equal so in the situations zero flag is going to be set if the compare if the comparison or computation performed by the previous instruction is equal to zero so then zero flag is going to be set yeah next sign flag simple so this flag is going to be set when the result of any computation is negative especially for signed computations so this flag is going to be especially used for signed computations <coughs> next tra flag t is nothing but tra so simply when tra flag is set the processor enters into single step execution mode so after execution of each instruction the control of execution moves to interrupt service routine so simple simple we can say that line by line execution so continuously the whole lines are not going to be executed one line is going to be executed and checks for any interrupts are there and next other line is going to be executed so the information or the program is going to be executed the instructions are going to be executed in step wise so single step execution mode simply we can say that single step execution mode next direction flag so this flag is mainly used in string manipulation instructions i'll say simply when d flag equal to 0 what happens so when d flag equal to 0 the processor executes from the lowest address to the highest address that is not nothing but first address second address third address like that auto incrementing mode so this way of execution is called as auto incrementing mode when d f flag equal to 1 so what happens so this is called as auto decrementing mode so the processor executes from the highest address to the lowest address that is 10 tenth address next ninth eighth seventh sixth like that the processor executes from the highest address to the lowest address so next interrupt flag if i f flag equal to 1 so then only the maskable interrupts are recognized by the cpu otherwise the interrupts are not recognized by the cpu so simply always interrupt flag should be 1 in order to accept the request from so in order to accept request from devices or external peripheral devices so always interrupt flag should be 1 next overflow flag so simply we can say that whenever an overflow is there simply overflow flag is going to set so if the result is unable to accommodate in the destination register obviously this flag is going to be set for example the result is 8 bit so the, the, the register is 16 bit you got 20 bit obviously overflow flag is going to be set so this is the concept of flag resistors thank you very much if you like my video please subscribe it